Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sanaira. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for future videos. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to do like a pamper shower routine. Um, nothing too describe again, but I just want to show you guys um, what I do when I do my pamper and shower routines because I like watching those videos on YouTube. So without further ado, keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy. First, I'm doing this Olaplex treatment in my hair. Now that I've been blonde for a few months now, it's, you gotta make sure that you protect it and give it treatments to make sure that your curls, especially me, that they're intact. So I'm doing this. This is my, I wanna say second or third time doing this, and I definitely do notice the difference in it. So I'm just putting that in and I'm letting it sit for about 20 minutes and doing everything else I needed. So... <laughs> Okay, now the treatment is all in my hair, I'm going to let that sit and I'm going to start out my skincare routine. I'm going to wash my face using Acnidote, it's by Elba. Um, I usually wash my face in the shower, it's easier, but for the sake of the video, I just did it in the sink. Um, this is a great face wash, I really like it, but it, again, with all the products that I'm using, I feel like I definitely just need to switch it up. I've been using them for so long, it's not necessarily making a change. But, of course, they're still great products and I definitely recommend all of them. And everything in the video will be linked in the description box. Since this is my paper routine, I'm gonna do my face mask next. Um, this is the Mint Julep Mask by Queen Helene. Um, it's a clay-based mask, which I really like. I feel, you can definitely feel like the toxins coming out of your skin, your pores feel better. I will say it leaves me a little bit dry afterwards, so I'll use it once a week or once every other week. But overall, it definitely feels great and I see a change in my skin, so I definitely recommend it. As can obviously tell, this is the most obvious part of my hair routine. Um, just brushing my teeth, flossing, getting my ears, Q-tips. Um, I usually do this while I'm doing the mask because I need it needs time to you know harden and set 
to make sure it's working properly so this is when I'll usually do this step so enjoy this little clip Well, after I'm finished wiping all the mask off my face, well, I'm enjoying it, I still look a little bit, but I'll go in and shave my mustache. Um, it's not really bad, but I still want to go in a little bit. I did my eyebrows just a little bit cleaning them up, but my mom waxes my eyebrows and sends them for me. Game changer. Definitely recommend it if you haven't tried it. I'm pretty much it on the shaving my face part. Okay, now that I'm done with my skincare routine for the most part, I'm going to go in and wash the treatment on my hair and shampoo and condition it. I'm actually using my mom's brand of shampoo and conditioner from her um, brand, Love and Health Hair Care. Um, we'll go ahead and link in the description box. We love the mutism over here. Um, this is the Coco Love shampoo and conditioner. It's coconut oil based and I find that it's really hydrating for my hair, especially if I don't wash it for a while. And she also has a minty love peppermint shampoo and conditioner as well and it's really great and hydrating also so if you're interested in those two products please check it out it'll be in the description box As you guys can see, um, with the, the conditioner still in my hair, I just like to go through with a diamond brush or a dupe of a diamond brush and just detangle it. It's very easy when you have the conditioner, especially my mom's one. And after I'm done that, I'll just rinse it out and wrap it up and put it to the side for me to do a twist out or whatever I'm going to do to it. Body wash wise, lately I've been using this coconut butter scrub. I've been using this is my second bottle of it. I really like it. Um, my chest and my back, my upper back are kind of sensitive, so I'll just use it with my hands and scrub it in probably as much pressure as I need because it has exfoliant parts in it. And then I'll just wash off the rest of my body with the rag. I'll just shape what needs to be shaped and that's pretty much it for my rest of my body wise paper routine. After I'm out the shower, I just dry off, my hair's still wet. I usually put a wrap on it, but for the most part, I'll just let it air dry. I'm going to lotion up. I use the Hemp's Lotion. I feel like it's the most moisturizing and best for my skin. It can be very sensitive sometimes, and this one has worked the best with it. So, you know, stick with what you know. And then, you know, some deodorant, you know. 
self-explanatory um afterwards finally the last thing i do is just put on this rose glower oil for my face um it's good but there's of course definitely feel like something out there a little bit better for me than this but i do recommend it and then I get dressed. Uh -huh. That pretty much wraps up my shower and pamper routine. As always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back soon with new content. Bye, guys.